Okay then. Good morning, guys. Uh, we'll start the session today. So we'll start a new topic today, which is very much important for a business and as well as for you as a digital marketer. You need to learn this topic for sure. Okay. Till now we have seen SEO for your website and on page and off page and uh, Google Ads that are paid. We have seen uh, Google Ads. Now we'll see the analysis of the both. Okay. How will you do analysis for both? tools like on your website and uh, of on your uh, google ads account as well okay got it guys what is google analytics any idea who can uh, who can just help me out what is google analytics so what is analytics is nothing but you analyze your website okay by using a tool uh, google analytics or many analytics tools are there but you will analyze the, the using this tool and generate reports which will fetch your business where you are lagging okay where you are lagging how many views are you getting so how many campaigns are, what is the problem in the campaign so you can just also integrate google ads into this google analytics account so that what happens is it also generate ads overview as well okay so in google ads and your website is linked to this google analytics account so in this google analytics you integrate each and everything so that so that what happens so you can just integrate your social media cha channels as well. so you can just add add social channels and your website and as well as your <laughs> at google ads account so that you can analyze the situation of your business the current situation of your business and can easily uh, go with a strategy so now you understand so in this google analytics will know basics of google analytics so how to implement into your account how to set up okay what is a view what is a filter okay how to read a basic report okay read a basic report and how to perform basic analysis how to perform basic analysis and uh, <coughs> what is a funnel you might be encountered with uh, new new names no worries i'll help you with all these things okay so don't think this is a uh, water, water filtering funnel. So for this funnel is different. Okay. What is a purchase funnel? Everybody getting me right? Uh, so Google Analytics uh, is nothing but analyzing your report. So report, taking the reports of your website or analyzing your business. So so how, how Google Analytics is used to your business? Simple. So for example, I'll show you with a live example. I already have an account into Google Analytics with this uh, link with this email ID and I will create another Google accounts as well and link to my website. So you'll get to know how to set up and all. Okay. So now we'll see how a uh, Google Analytics is uh, is fetched to your uh, business. So same as reports you have seen in uh, Google Ads and Search Console here also this is the this is also this report uh, which you see about your website but in a very very detailed way. Okay. So the total detailed way is it, it, it is on a different level, I can see. Okay. It's not uh, Google and Google ads only says about only ads uh, about ads and defaults. You take search console. It only speaks about your website, but in here it totally speaks about your ads analytics, uh, sorry, your website and as well as YouTube, Facebook, everything you can just so. And if you see here, so this total is called a dashboard. So this total view is called a dashboard of your website. For example, uh, so you can see here uh, the uh, users active. That means there are 30, uh, 37. So this link, the, if you see here, the number is uh, just going decreasing and increasing. If you see here, there are 36 people now. So 36 people who are on my website, on particular website right now. Okay. So I have two accounts in here. So one is demo account, Google merchandise store. So, so in order to practice Google analytics, what Google analytics Google does is, so it will help you. It will, it will help you to uh, have its own demo account. It's merchandise store account so that you can analyze the reports of that merchandise store. So for example, on its merchandise store, there are 30 users active now. So for example, I have integrated this thing. So this, uh, account uh, I'll just go to this so 
well let's see how many people are active on my account so that's leave the market so if you see here there are no people who are unactive that means it shows only live results okay so and we'll know what is this <clears throat> so i'll just write it down so i just want to prepare you guys you know, prepare notes for this so if you see here i have traffic channels and everything but i will do one thing hmm. i'll just add this demo account only that is google merchandise store so it's you know that there is so that will be easy to so i'm i'm not explaining in detail about these reports i just want to show the overview and i'll after that i'll explain how to integrate and each and every option in here after that we'll know how to generate reports and how to uh, learn about the basic and how to perform basic analysis on the reports okay so if you if else you see here so traffic channel so if else you will have the traffic channel where the chat channel where the chat <coughs> the people are coming from is it from paid search is nothing but uh, google ads direct search is nothing but organic search okay referral is nothing but uh, uh, if you say see coupon sites like uh, for example uh, go uh, sorry grab on coupon raja everything you have right so these are called referral sites organic search is nothing but seo results okay direct is nothing but directly people are searching with the name that is google uh, search sorry uh, google merchandise store or if else you have a business called flipkart so people are searching with direct search of 50 552 other in the, the other channel so if else you have an affiliate site okay so if you have an affiliate site uh, which will be <coughs> have uh, from that you will be getting uh, some traffic or else if you have done submissions in event sites from that you will getting you will be getting traffic so each and everything where you can analyze where are you getting these uh, where are you getting the sources so where are the people coming from you can know each and everything in dig digital analytics or else google analytics so here organic search if you see 1.9k that is high if you see the graph okay so next is referral direct paid search so each and everything okay active users monthly 50 so how many active users you can just check it okay user retention so how many people have come and first they have left and how many are retained how many and that means how many people are converted okay users by time day so if you see here so so three this are so at particular what particular time how many users are there okay sessions by country so i'll explain what is a session in here okay no worries so session by country how many people are looking session by device device is nothing but mobiles okay so am i fast guys are you getting my point okay any doubts just ask me okay because i just want to be particular in this google analytics so now if you have how many people are coming from a specific country how many people are coming from a specific device how many people are coming on particular day okay so what pages they are visiting so for example if you see here home basket dot html if you see here what pages are they visiting and what are the goal completions goal so i just want to ask a quick question here so what is a goal anybody what is a goal i just want an example i not don't want definition i just give an example what is a goal in the business perspective or else according to your perspective just give me what is a goal Mm, how you want to target the audience so that's a kind of goal you say okay but goal completion so goal is nothing but if else you sell you have a, a e-commerce site for example you have a product you have a clothing clothing product okay you are selling uh, t-shirts for example okay your goal is to sell that product okay so that is the final outcome of your website right selling a particular product is your goal here okay for example if you see here goal completions that means so selling has been done that so the product has been sold for for 2.5k people so that is why the goal has been completed the goal can be selling a product generating a lead or else uh, <coughs> okay getting traffic to your website so it can be anything so goal is nothing but the end result of your website or else your business the end result of your business got it guys so that's a goal again so uh, what are your top selling products so if you see here you can analyze here so how much what is the beauty this is the beauty of google analytics tool you can each and you can analyze each and everything here 
very clearly and particularly okay so what is the product you are on top so what if else uh, so if you are on top for this particular product you are on low for youtube will sandwich cap black so for example this uh, topic uh, sorry this product is on a low a low this is not generating revenue what you do you just try to do more seo for that or else more uh, but you can just add uh, more purchases you can just uh, uh, go for paid results okay you can just circulate the product more okay and if you are uh, if you have if you don't want the product for example uh, you are not getting much revenue from that product but you are uh, just uh, investing more and more on that particular one you just what will you do you just lower your amounts lower your uh, investments on that particular product so for this so by this analysis if you see here you can analyze whether to invest or not by seeing these reports okay you will know how many clicks you are getting okay e-commerce this is the e-commerce overview that means if else you have product in e-commerce if you have uh, you can you can just have the products here and uh, you will have what is the revenue are generating for unique for each and every purchase so if you see here google t white for uh, three unique purchases that means three times so three different products three google t white has been purchased so for that revenue has been generated for 65 dollars 65.97 dollars okay so so this is the total overview so if else you have when you integrate google ads campaigns in here so this is what so top campaigns so for example so it it is calculated you got for this total campaign so you know what is a campaign right and you add groups consists of ad groups and ads right so for the total campaign you got 493 clicks and cost it's 104 you have invested you have charged you got charged with 104.11 dollars okay the revenue you got is 31 dollars point how you know that you got this revenue so any idea how would you get this uh, uh, revenue exactly so the thing is we as, as it is an e-commerce site you have products with name per purchase amount so when a purchase is done when a goal is being done that means the revenue is generated right so then accordingly you know how much revenue is generated so if you see here 107 clicks you have got cost is 60 dollars and the revenue generated is zero okay so you can analyze whether to use this campaign or pause this campaign or else you can just uh, try to optimize this campaign by using this analytics okay